Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome to Left to Learn October 18th, 2014. With me tonight is going to be Daddy Ping here and we're going to be playing the map Undead Zone. How are you doing, x -Bar? I'm doing alright here. So, uh, what is your experience here with Undead Zone? You want me to be briefly honest? It's basically uh, watching cast of the CCT matches that have been going on, including the install that I had about a couple months ago and didn't really play it all that much. But I've been through the map today a couple times, so... familiar with a couple of the chokes and stuff like that. Alright, but what do you think of the map? Though? What do I think? Yes. Um... Considering I haven't, pu like, pugged it at all, it's kind of hard to say. I think it's beautiful. I, I love the custom voices that they have. Uh, I think that's really neat, like, with the, with the tank and everything, I, except for the finale, that voice is dumb, but... Other than that, I think it was really well done. Um, put put together a campaign. What do you think? Well, the best part I could put about there is that it's a very simple campaign. A lot of people when they make custom campaigns, they just go over the top. You know, so many different textures, and they put in props all over the place. You know, they just kind of want to show off. Not really, really good map. A beautiful map here. Mm -hmm. But Undead Zone does a great job of doing that without kind of rubbing it in your face. It's very simple. Unlike, you know, maps, say, like, uh, Back to School, which, you know, there's, like, custom everything. Every mm -hmm. entire map is, like, huge in terms of size. I mean, like, you know, data size. Yeah. Now, uh, this first map is relatively linear in, in design. I mean, it's not like, uh, from what I understand, whenever you whenever you get underneath the, uh, the bridge here and then you start to head towards the tunnels, and uh, you set up the event, and then once you get into the tunnels, it's relatively linear, even though it's multiple path. Oh yeah, I really dislike those tunnels, especially from a caster. It's kind of a pain in the ass to be able to capture. You kind of have to first person it right around there, and, and even at that, it, it's probably not going to look the best, you know, and I can see that. I've seen this casted several times, and it is it looks difficult. It's hard to see, it's hard to cast, because, you know, you, you can't always see those ghost spawns pop up. I found a neat little trick there at the, when you get over this, I'm going to, so when we get over to the tunnels here, so I'm going to go ahead and run them forward and I'm going to take us to the game here. So once you get into the tunnels, I found a good idea with casting it, or at least being the cameraman, is that you actually want to move out of the tunnels very slightly. Yes. So if you move out of the tunnels very slightly, you'll see sometimes that your skybox turns white. But if you move out too far or do a, a bad angle, it'll turn black. Right, you want to have the white skybox. White skybox allows you to see all the common infected, the special infected, and the survivors all with clothes while they're still in there. Yeah, I just saw the purple here. That was uh, interesting. You go too deep. Yes. Alrighty, no, that's so, a really neat trick. Yeah. So, alright, so we're going to go down the teams here. So tonight's mentors here are going to be Lo, some of you might remember or uh, know him from Team Relation, and Prodigy City. Team, I don't know what team, what the team name for Prodigy Scene. You know what the team is? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank right now. I will say that uh, Flo, I believe right now his team is 3 and 0. So he's really proud of that. He's doing really well. His whole team's just kind of coming together. Um, last map uh, with the uh, with with the uh, Russians, I believe, is what it was today. So they were doing real well, and they pretty much GG'd out of it. This is such a separation. So kudos to them. Yeah, they've been doing pretty well here. So, Flo will be... Oh, there we go. Somebody... Uh, Predator Sim is on Team Spade. There we go. Thank you. There, yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. All right. So, Flo here will be mentoring... Uh, I'm looking through here. Who is this? All right. Wait. All right, yeah. Uh, Flo will be mentoring the Survivor Team here, which will be assisting... Uh, there's so many people in the channel. There's seven people in the channel. What the hell? Uh, I'm just going to list them off. So, we got Luke... Luke... Too bad. Mesmer... Difficult pronunciation and brief. Whereas the infected team, will, which will be mentored by Prodigy Seam here, will be consisting of Lithium and, oh god, Sprout Salad, Synax, and the Light Moose. AKA the Moose. The Moose. I had the opportunity to uh, play with him, and uh, despite his uh, lack of hours, he's got some uh, really, uh, really quick learning. Really quick learning guy. Uh, 
actually looking forward to seeing everyone play. Some of the players I played with in, uh, in our friendly pug group that we have going on with Rails, so it's uh, nice to see their faces in here as well. Secret. It's oh. supposed to be a secret. Everyone knows. Oh no. Alrighty, so we're just waiting on... Oh, and there's Piglet. Alrighty, so Piglet is joining in here. I'm not sure, is Piglet playing? Um, from my understanding, um, I thought he was in the list. But I do not know who's not playing then. So... Oh, he's he's on Survivors. He's right there. He's on Survivors. Yeah, yeah Piglet was in the list. joined in. Yeah, yeah, he is playing. Um, we did put him on a team, so yes, he is playing. Sorry, I never saw him le leave. That was weird. Interesting. Now, uh, from my understanding, Breezy is playing from Australia. So, I don't know what server we're using. And he didn't mention that a whole lot, and I just now remembered it, but... Went with the Los Angeles server. So, I don't know okay. if it's Dallas or Los Angeles that is paying for Australians, but we went with Los Angeles. Faster thing. One would think it would be LA, but, you know, as you said, you never know. This is the United States. Everyone all comes through New York anyway. He's not too bad. Uh, 216 ping is not bad, and we're getting ready to start here. So we'll see what this first attack consists of. Alrighty, so we have a 22% tank and a 77% which is an incredibly early tank. We're going to definitely see the rock tank actually go on here. First attack consists of one here with Charger and Boomer. And here comes the Boomer going for that arc boom. No, he's actually not booming it. He's waiting to close it as a Great Jackie comes in. Here comes the Charger. Triple cap, oh. double boom. And here comes Bill. He's got to clear all three survivors here. That's going to be a lot of damage right off the bat. This has got to be a really good attack. I was surprised that actually hit it. The Charger did really well pushing him into the Boomer. The smoker took advantage of the uh, of the boom and the char and the confusion going on. So that was just a relatively really good hit. P Piglet's losing over half his health. Luke is actually, what is he, about 55%? Oh, and we got the tank up here. And one thing I definitely noticed that I want to mention now that I thought it was a great thing. Bill did not clear the charger. He actually went to try and clear the smoker, albeit he missed a lot of the shots, so it didn't clear instantly, but he did a good job there. He went to clear the smoker, which was far away, and let the person that he just recently cleared from the jockey deal with the charger. That is a great, great strategy, or, yeah, great strategy there. Yep. No, I agree. Uh, difficult pronunciation, another one in, in our little group that I play with a lot. He's he's actually a pretty good player, so he's, he's picked up a lot of the habits from us, um, as we've been teaching everyone. Oh, and here comes the Jockey coming in here. Jockey's leaping around here. He's taking a little bit of chip. 173, and he gets dead stopped and dead here. And here comes the Charger. Gets a free charge, which just doesn't happen. Here comes the Smoker. Trying to go for that rack there with this tank. And which which side do you think is more the underdog here in terms of, like, infected or survivor? So we can go to that war room. Like, which side do you think will have more difficult playing this out? I, th I think uh, we'll go to survivors just to kind of see how they play it out first. All right. And I will join you. All right. Maybe for after tank. Hits up, so be ready for a hit. Thanks for coming down. Take those pills, Piglet, now. I'm jockeyed by the safe room. Tank's, Tank's by committing. himself. Tank's committing. Focus Tank, everybody focus Tank, he's by himself. Everybody shoot him. Don't let him, don't let him get out, keep him in there. Nice kites, good kite. Keep shooting him, keep shooting him, you got it. Good clear on a smoker. Tank is dead. Good job. There's extra pills inside there. Alright, and we are back here. So we just say tank in the hands of Ulithium there. Um, it kind of looked like the tank was flailing his arms about there. He wasn't really, like, timing his punches or getting in close enough to really find any of them. Yeah, I saw that too. Um, he was, he, he was trying, it looked like he was trying to master that method of kind of just doing the, uh, you know, turning your camera as you're swinging your arms. But unfortunately, he just wasn't closing the gap. We have a hit up here. It looks like, uh, of course, my caster HUD. I'll just Damn. bring up spec HUD here. 
uh, consisting of a 2-2 here with Charger and Jackie. Jackie's coming in here, gets dead stop by Bill. Shoved to the side here, doesn't die though. 132, he lands on the Francis. Great double boom. Here comes the Charger spitter. Someone's gonna get hoarded here and someone's gonna get charged. Charger's hesitating. He's going in for one punch and then he's backing out. That's a very interesting strategy there, he's, he, but he seems to be holding him back there. There's the charge and here's the spit. There it goes. That looks like it's going to be pretty decent damage. Luke is lo going to lose the rest of his health bonus. Oh, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure what the, the idea behind that there is. I mean, he kind of did think that his spawn timer from the rest of the SI there, too. Agreed, but again, we have a kind of standing event here where they're not going to make any more progress. Once they get to this uh, trailer, they're going to hit off this event to open up the, uh, the tunnel, so it, it should be all right. Alrighty, next attack consisting of a 3-1 here with Charger and Boomer. A lot of potential for separation here, especially when this event starts. Here comes the Boomer, single boom from the front of the truck here. Now, none of these are coming in here, so it could be a possible sack for Spitter, which would make this attack even more devastating here with the large amount of separation and the charges that we have. Hey, you also noticed uh, that they haven't hit the button yet. Uh, something I just noticed, notice. I'm surprised you didn't see him running in, especially with this horde going on. You know, they're just going to have to take another horde, and they're already low enough to where they're probably going to get end capped with this next hit. Here comes oh, the smoker, he's pulling back. Smoker's coming in, Jockey's still alive. Spitter's looking for a spawn. If he gets that spawn, he's gonna try to spit block. The Spitter's actually spitting on the down person there. I guess really to separate the survivors from him, but I'm not sure how I feel about that great charge going out there by the Light Moose here. And that might be a down there. One more pound here, Zoe's trying to clear, and he gets the clear mid pound. Oh. That, was, that was very good, very good timing. Just one more pound, he would have been down. Luke would have been up by himself. Luckily, uh, Luke is still carrying a little bit of health bonus, but the rest of it seems very much hurting. And as you mentioned, they have not started the event yet, so they're going to have to deal with the Horde. Albeit, though, if they had started that event, they might be dead right now, because they'd be having that constant Horde on them right now. So I'm not sure which which can really go with <laughs> here, but they are going to be bleeding out a lot. Only kinds of pills. Uh, nice. I've seen some, uh, some take this inside here. What do you think about inside? Uh, it looks like a great place to die. Oh, really? Yeah, with charger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here comes a smoker. He gets a pull on a Francis here. Here comes a spit. Spinning on the ground here. That's going to hit Zoe. It's going to hit Lewis. It's going to hit kill Francis. Here comes the hunter, and that is a cap on Bill. Will he get cleared in time? Oh. No. That smoker, smoker block. Yeah, Every he time. Just came in there, doing some kung fu swipes there, mm -hmm. and managed to cover the hunter long enough for it to go down. What do we call that? Scumbag smoker? That was the, the death of the last person. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call him. Alrighty, so we're on the second round here of Undead Zone Map 1. So the survivor team is going to have to see what they can do with the tank here. Now this tank here, uh, I just, I mean, what I was spectating from last round, it seems like the tank is a bit, a bit determined by the survivor's play here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say that again, I'm sorry. It's a bit determined by the survivor's play. So basically, if the survivors do proper line of sight, then the tank will have to come in. Basically, the survivors are going to be controlling the flow of this tank, rather than the occasional where the tank controls the flow of the, uh, you know, the tank controls the flow of the fight. Which is very, very rare there. Yeah, I mean, if the survivors do some great line of sight, they shut down the first attack there without any incident, without taking Respect. a rock, etc. And I think we will be good to go there with, I mean, with their tank. They should be able to make it to the end. Now, the tunnels, though, that'll definitely be a pain now for any team. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't, I don't see them getting much further if they do. Kudos to them. But I'm just saying, it just, just based off these tank spawn, there's not really any place to properly LOS. And the ones that are are really enclosed in to the point where they pretty much have to do a melee tank. Um, burger tank, that is. Um, if you look at it, there's a little uh, pump tent here. That's really kind of a limited place. And the other option, of course, being underneath the bridge, and that's a little farther ahead. A lot of spawns there. So it really is not a good place to tank, take this tank unless you're actually just going to take it in the safe room to tunnel all the uh, SI. Yeah, but I don't really... think you lose... Uh, you don't lose rage on this, this safe room, right? No, I, I don't think you one. do. Um, might be a future update, though. That would actually not be a bad thing. Boomer's going oh, in. Comes the the Looks boomer like... almost lands something oh, there, and the smoker gets a pull in the back. Oh, and the jockey gets sent inside here, and comes to try to try and save him. Ping. I think we lost ping. No, I'm oh. here. 
Oh, all right. You just went quiet on me there. Kids. Ah, well, there you go. Kids. <laughs> if you ever get into a casting career, make sure you don't have kids. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's absolutely Alrighty. true. So, Tank is in the hands of difficult pronunciation here. Let me send it over to Survivor War Room and see how the survivors deal with this tank here. Rock. Ooh, you guys should Let's, call up those oh, rocks for each other. Let's get, uh, hide. Oh, yeah. But someone They're should stay on the right lookout. Now. I think you guys should stay outside. Alright. Once you kill the SI, go in the tent. Jockey and charged. Oh, like. Thank you. The tank's pretty good with rocks. Now let's LOS. Get inside now. Nice. Yeah, it's been doing pretty well. Gotta have somebody watching him for you guys. Okay, five seconds still spawns. Alright. Head out. Yep. Nice skeet. Or I don't know, maybe he just missed. Um they can't come think, from that cliff to your right. Of... Why is the tank invisible? <laughs> you probably have your settings low and he's just really far away. Hunted in the back. I got max settings on right now. Oh, I don't know. This is, that's kinda, kinda gonna create a problem Get for me. Tent. Um, he'll probably show up. I don't know, Bill is invisible. I can see like the rock moving around in the air. I'm low on okay. ammo. I think yep. that I have some right. add-ons on Spons right now, that's probably up. conflicting. Uh, your add-ons shouldn't be loading. Yeah, I know, but uh, sometimes it can still conflict on custom maps. Alright, let's These go. These guys focus on that side. Jockey, go in front. LOS immediately. Come on, you guys got You guys took a long tank. time last time to LOS. I'm reloading. Nice job. Reloading. Getting ammo. Come on, man. Get inside. Well, it's kind of late now. Uh, after the next hit, how about we get out of here and move forward because this isn't working. Yeah. It'd be nice if I could see the tank. <laughs> Alright. Take your pills too. When he commits, that's gonna be a serious problem for me. Because how will I know if he's going after me? If you want, Jockey. I can pause and try to fix it. Like, uh, should I just disconnect, disable all my add ons, and reconnect and see if that fixes it? If... I can give you a console command to run that will probably fix it. Sure. Do you wanna call a pause? Let's just copy that and put it in the console real quick. You should get in an LOS though. Lewis. Alright, I typed that in. What'd that do? It recorded a demo and stopped. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see the tank now. Cool. Yep. That worked. Thank you. No problem. Just keep it tight. You guys, this this threat's still what you should be doing. Oh man! Oh, that nice double touch. touch. Uh, and the rock. Oh, I only have two health. Oh, that rock's gonna hit me. Okay, never mind. Tank's not smart. Come here. He's gonna be forced commit on the next one, basically. Are you guys even able to chip him? I've been chipping him this whole time. You've been chipping him a little bit. I'd LOS him though, and force him to commit. Reloading. What's LOS stand for? Line it's, line it's, it stands for getting the fucking tent. <laughs> ah. I, I guess it does stand for that. Yeah. Did he just get hit? Yeah. Okay, so we... Still... Uh. 
Now he's really gonna be forced. That was a good shutdown, guys. God. Here he comes. I got hit. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's coming in. Out. He's out. He's I'm stuck behind the really fence. Slow. That's an that's an AI tank. Watch yourselves. Yeah, where the fuck is he going? Just get him, over him here. up right he's now. Over in the dock. Come on, go into the water. That's dead stop. Oh, oh no, he just punched me. Got a boomer coming your way? Alright, I got him. Oh no. Wow, well, that that's so good there for a second. Alrighty, and we are back here. We just saw a tank in the hands of difficult pronunciation there. The survivors, it looks like there was a terrible communication issue going on that none of them were line of sighting. Yeah, I, or not, I, I they weren't all line of sighting, sorry. I have a feeling that uh, the LOS term wasn't quite maybe explained as well to a couple of them. I mean, left to learn. There's people of different skill levels. Some of them understand that fact, some of them don't. If you come from a pub, you don't often understand what LOS means. In competitive play, it's kind of one of those mandatory things you have to know about a tank. Uh, saw a lot of uh, kind of staying around the safe room, and I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't think he knows what LOS is. Well, really I wanted. believe somebody just summed it up really, really well there. Stand in the fucking tent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's. I like that. I'm trying to look for the acronym for that, and it's apparently LOS, so that works too. Yeah, but uh, for those of you who don't know, there, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if we have any new stories here on Left to Learn, but uh, LOS stands for Line of Sight. Usually, it pertains, it depends on the site, so it pertains to, like, a survivor, you don't want to give the tank Line of Sight. So basically, the t if the tank can see, then he does not lose rage. Whereas for the tank or the infected side, when you mention LOS, it usually pertains to get Line of Sight, so you don't lose rage. Not to backtrack, but uh, speaking of that tank that was. Uh some great rocks thrown out from him. Um, he, he was really hitting the rocks where he needed to. Uh, unfortunately, the AI tank just kind of... He, he waited a little too long with that final one. He was expecting them to pop back out, and he, they didn't. And he, he probably should have committed there, but, you know, it was still a good play. Tank AI tanks being unpredictable as possible. They pretty much do everything you don't want them to do, and sometimes things that you don't expect them to do, so... Alrighty, so we're just waiting on six different people to ready up here. So we are on the second map of Undead Zone here. So, if... <laughs> if, uh, what was, the, what was last... Oh god, and we got some graphical bugs here. Yes, this map has a variety of graphical bugs right now. It's really weird. You should use that record command that PSM had. I bet that fixes everything. No, it's like no, a fix-all. It's a fix-all. No. It, it... Or it doesn't fix this. Sorry. It doesn't fix this. Just look into the map. Anyways, but yeah. So, I mean, okay. What was what was the last uh, map in the campaign or in uh, custom campaign? Oh, the the last one that we did. The boat one. It was uh, it was dead blood or something. Dark blood. Dark blood. Dark blood. There two. we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. So, if those of you who uh, thought dark blood to the Drupal cluster boat, well, you guys are gonna like map two here of Undead Zone. This will definitely instill the claustrophobia waiting inside you to pop out. So many little corners that you can hit at. There's, uh, you know, not it everything kinda... exactly spelled out exactly where you need to go. Um, some things are, some things aren't. Go ahead. The beginning here kind of feels like, um, I'm trying to remember, I I'm thinking of the word here. Uh, the word basically, uh, I guess during war when you're going through, I, I guess like dug out, dug out little hills and such. Avoid enemy fire. That's with a T. Mm, can't think of it right now. I got graphical bugs all over my screen, so <laughs> ADD and all. Yeah, that's what it. Uh, that's what it feels like when you jump down here into the sewers, and it just feels just. I don't know. You're really closed in here. It feels like you're like ducking enemy fire from. I guess I don't know spitters that are constantly shooting at each other. So you have to go down into the sewer area here. But we're talking tendonitis. Is that what we're talking about? No. You said start with a T. It started with the T, and it's... Oh, shut up. <laughs> we'll kill you. Anyways, we're waiting on Breeze to ready up here. Oh, 
Oh shoot. I think I'm stuck in first person mode. That's cool. That'll work. Oh boy. There Just it goes. Turn, out, turn off your scores and then press space button. It looks like we yeah. are going live here. Alrighty, so first hit consisting of a 3-1 here with Charger and Boomer here. So they're going to be opting to hit outside here, which it seems most teams like to do. And plus, they do not have a spitter, so they can't really go for a lot of damage inside, especially when this hit here is pulled out separation and... Yeah, I, I often see uh, some of the comp teams uh, try to take this inside, and it always gets shut down pretty well. Um, sometimes you'll end up with a charger spit if you're lucky enough to spawn with one, unfortunately. We see the survivors are definitely taking their time here. Nothing too exciting going on right now. And the smoker is actually pre-spawned here. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Yeah, this is, uh... Now they need to exit this red door here to get out. Is that not correct? Yes, they need to go okay. through the red door. Now what lies on the other side of the red door is entirely up to them. <laughs> exactly. In a set and a score. See, Looks like uh, Survivor's yeah. doing a little bit of baiting, just basically waiting to... I don't know what they're waiting for. They're just kind of discussing themselves what they're going to do on this hit. They're still playing the common infected here. Oh, but... He actually gets hit here. Oh, the pings are going all over the place here. It looks oh, like we wow. must have some, uh, yeah, one of the network nodes that are being used is probably being congested here. And here comes the charger. Great pop on that boomer, by the way. Here comes the charger. Hunter's coming in, going for that high pounce there. And he gets a land onto Lewis there after a dead stub. Looks like it almost got him. Two tick. Two tick. And they will now be, oh, trenches. There we go, trenches. We'll trenches. We're going through the trenches here of the map. Taking away through these weird sewer, claustrophobic, and graphically, graphically buggy areas here. Don't Are you kidding me? Going in here. What? 95 frames per second. Wow. Oh, I, I'm getting like 150. Wall Good streaming at a high setting. Well, Good for you. <laughs> and the next is not coming here. Great boom coming in here. And we still have the Spitter and Charger. They can do definitely a lot of damage here. And Charger's going for that high, high spawn. Oh, but he slides off. Mm, Charger DP misses. Could have got a 25 right. That would have been something. Personally, I feel all the SI should have some kind of DP. So, like, if you rocket off a boomer, you should explode on impact. Have a, lo a bigger proxy. And you should stumble or stun the person that you land on. That would be very interesting. You can Look see a little so separation going here. Yeah. yeah. And two spawns are up right now, so that's kind of something you don't quite want to do. Now, we got a tank coming up here at 36%. Do you think they're going to run it all the way back, or, or what do you think quite is going to happen here? Mm, it depends if this car is hittable here. I mean, there are a lot of cars here. I'm not sure which are, which are hittable, but... Ideally, they probably can take it back by the front of this house here. I like uh, that walkway there. So check this out. Heads come in here. You got a hunter, got a smoker. Jockey, Jockey gets a, a trike double cap here. Sh sorry, stuttering all over myself. On a tank what... here is really far out there, but looks like he's going to be traversing through the rooftops here. We're going to see some Assassin Creed from this tank here, and he now rides at the survivors. And he will be picking up a rock and throwing it, but no one is chipping that tank, and he gets oh. a rock on the bill there. Alrighty. So, which war room do you think we should go to? Let's go for an affected. Alrighty. Over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just hit, please. All right. All right. You guys, ready? Yeah. Go. You don't have a spawn. Go for it. You might want to jump there, Charger. You'll get the spawn if you jump. How can I wall bounce off anything? I don't know. Some levels have weird objects instead of walls. Nice work. <laughs> Really good rocks, dude. Yeah. They're kind of asking for it. Yeah. Not really moving. If they start shutting them down, oh. Yeah, they went inside. They are moving. So they they're gonna come out the. I mean, they're either gonna sit in there to LOS or they're gonna rush forward. And you can drop on them. Curve rocks down too. Go ahead and hit. 
Come on in. Come on in. Alright, I'm gonna hit. That guy's yeah, like crazy. Reloading. See if you can uh, land that boom. Yeah, I'm trying and then to just, I'm, not getting the, I'm not getting the spawns. Just climb up onto the house or rock it yeah. maybe. If you can climb up on the house behind them, they none of them are looking that way. I have to go in, so... Just... Alright, go. Um, you got this, Boomer. Nice, Boom. Perfect. Cover your SI. Great, Boom, man. Yo, oh, get Zoe. One left, one left. Zoe. Get Zoe. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Still good. Okay. Just finish it. Just throw that rock right at her. Good job. Oh. Nice. Oh no, she's gonna run for it. Is she heading forward or back? She is heading forward. Nope, go back in. Oh. oh, what? Oh, he got cleared. Alright. Nice. Good. Nice. Got Good, her. Stuff. Good job, guys. Great support. Um, we could try to fight the tank there. Um, there's some other spots you can go back to that might be good, too. Alrighty, we are back, so we just saw a tank in the hands of Ensalada. Or I guess some people will like to refer to him as Sprout Salad. I think that's a play on words of Enchilada with Enchilada? salad. Ensalada. Enchilada. Enchilada. You should know this. You should know this. I don't know. I'm a Mexican, not a Mexican. <laughs> Beautiful. That was a great quad boom that they had going. It looked like the sport went in a little earlier. I was like, oh, but the boomer went in and got it, so it was all worth it. Um, I didn't see anyone really committing pills like they should have. I mean, they, they knew the hit was up. They knew the tank was committed. Had a couple of people forget about their pills in their pocket, and the tank just pretty much annihilated it. At 34 health, whenever there was two left up, they should, should have probably just stuck it out there, taken their pills, and see what they could have got. But they, they went for the points, so here we have it. We also saw there, towards the end, Zoe, I believe, was looped too bad. He was running forward there. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat was that he was shoving common, uh, common infected aside, trying to get through. And after, like, three shoves, he gave up and started shooting. I'm not sure if he was loading during that time, but generally, you don't want to shove common infected. Uh, as uh, Fig has posted on Left 4 Nation, I tell everyone, less you M2 in this game, even for common infected, the better you will get because you can done more often, you're getting more kills, and the faster you kill something, the quicker it is out of your way. And right there, if he had killed his common infected right at the start, he probably wouldn't have wasted an additional second of shoving. Uh, another thing is, he started coming back when Bill got cleared, and then once Bill got down by the tank, he turned around and then he got jacked in the face because he gave up the area. Nope, you're absolutely right. He he gave that jockey the spawn, and it was pretty much that was that was game. I mean, I don't expect him to get any much further at that point anyway, because there's really the amount the amount of uh, maneuvering he would have to do to get anywhere further would have been quite difficult. There's a lot of uh, small areas here for people to spawn, uh, for infected to spawn. A lot of dark corners wouldn't have got much further, I don't think. So, it would, in my opinion, it would have been worth just sticking it out and just try to hit with the tank. Now, uh, something I was going to tell you before we went on the little commercial break there with the uh, war room is if you see a car's wheels that are inside the ground, it more than likely is not a hittable car. The other thing is there's something with the the wheels. If if you see them turn, they're also not hittable. If they're straight, they're hittable. That's something that I learned the other day. And we're starting off here. I've heard about that before too, but one time there was a car that had crooked wheels, and well, I think you know how that ended. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming we're getting some baiting on here, so uh, I'll go ahead and just uh, say this, another thing about cars. If you're ever wondering if a car is hittable as you're in ghost mode, if you stand on the front of the vehicle or the back of the vehicle and you fall through, that car is hittable. It's no longer a static prop, so. Something just to note as you're playing some of these custom campaigns that you we can really learn and and figure out stuff on the fly. This first hit is a Charger Smoker Boomer Hunter. 
It looks like they're all going to opt to take it from the top. Uh, Boomer coming in from the window side. I, I, can you actually spawn from that window? Oh, I guess that, that yes. is a little room there. All those windows there are scratchable, but they are breakable. And the survivors here, we got a lot of ghosting going on, along with graphical bugs here. And the survivors are now rushing out here, but it's a, just baiting here. Francis Bait? doing some baiting here. And I feel like someone should just come in from behind and, you know, attack them while they're in there. And here comes the boomer, scratches the window open. Oh, and the boomer proxies the hunter out of the way. Charger goes in there with no support, though. And Smoker gets a pull on Lewis here, but it will not get around through Zoe. Reloading. Yeah, not, not too much damage taken there. It's uh, only 13 damage we had, so. Yeah, it was definitely a really great shutdown there by the survivors here. Well, unfortunately, though, the infected team are all dealing with a really, really high ping here because there is some issues going on with one of the network nodes that are on the way to, you know, Chicago and such. Mm -hmm. Next set of SI are coming up here. It's going to be consisting of a 2 2 with Charger and Hunter. And looks like they are going to be rocketing in from the top of these trenches here. And the survivors are making their way to the ladder here. Lewis leading up there, followed by Francis, followed by Bill, and then followed by Zoe. And looks like the SR are not attacking here. Bill, or uh, the Boomer is going to be spawning up on the second floor porch over there. But he still isn't going in. Looks like they're going to be waiting for the uh, exit here. Oh, no, wait. No, here they go. Charger and Spitter going in here. They try and go for a charge spit, but it was all alone, and it's not going to happen. Now that is a spread. That's a pretty good spread. I, I won't say that it... It obviously didn't do a whole lot of damage, but that was a hell of a spread either way. Reloading. Watch out. Yeah, I mean, I wish my spit would spread like that all the time, mm -hmm. but sometimes you just you spit on a survivor Reloading. directly, and Reloading. instead of your spit forming a circle, it ends up you know forming a line, and they're just right on the edge of the. What? Oh. Why? Why would you do? Especially this? in a small room, whenever there's a lot of stuff to jump on top. Of it. it looks like we got to next spawn up. Hunter is spawning. It looked like he's gonna try to go for. Oh, that's I thought that was a bot hunter for a second. So it looks like he's going to save. Trying to get the, the maybe the uh, tank to kill him. Not really sure how that's going to work out. Probably going to go for a deep. And let's quickly send the, this over to a laggy infected one, shall we? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you're doing great. Get him a hit. Okay, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Bill, get Bill. Both. Oh, I missed. Boom, the guy, easy target. I can't. I can't curve off like this. Sorry, right, sorry. Right. Yeah, I just do what you're gonna do. Do a, do a early drop in. Like right now, drop in there, because they're gonna try to get out. Just drop in there, because they're gonna get out. Now punch him when they get in there. Commit, just go in. Watch the melees. He's got it. Get that down on that guy. Double down. You got it. Perfect. Alright. Uh, just wait, support. Just wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tank has 5k health. Tank, go in there. You got this. Go. Focus. Go, SR. Alright, if you guys are all fully charged, give him a help. Hunt Synax. Alright, now you can cover him. Last guy. Throw a rock. Throw a rock. Alright, now you can chase him. Now you can just chase Francis. Keep him far away. Try to push him back if you can. If you can push him back through the map, it's gonna be good. Nice. Alright, and we are back here. We just saw a tank in the hands of Breezy there. So. I think one thing to note there is that the SI actually went in incredibly early. Mm hmm I saw that as well. Now, forcing them inside, that was kind of a interesting strat, and I saw the other team do it, but they seem to have gotten too back far in the corner, not expecting the tank to go ahead and push in. Looked like Flo had, had signaled him to go in, which was a great call in that case. Got two corner, double punched in the back, end capped, and all. he had, what, 5k left? Yeah, he had about 5.5. 5.5 and, and for two survivors you know you do the math on it. It normally takes 25 percent which is what that would be uh one 1500 per survivor you just I doubled do. what yeah. you have you pretty much doubled what you have to do damage for your tank every for uh, 
every two survivors that are dropped. So, and at that point, it was pretty much. Well, the, you know, if you down all four survivors, your health is infinite now. Yeah, my math's <laughs> off. I was homeschooled. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Anybody couldn't be any worse than our public schools. Ah, but that's that's the discussion. Public scrolls. <laughs> public public scrolls. Yes, mm. and scrolls. Public scrolls mm. are terrible. Alrighty, so we are on the third map here of Undead Zone. So this map, this map is incredibly open, like. It's so open, but the map maker did a great job of allowing the SI to spawn from uh, very key points and getting on top of a lot of the mountains and such. Honestly, the only complaint I have is this airplane area. This airplane area does not have enough smoke. I oh, agreed. I've, you, you see tanks out here, even with the hittable, it is just nearly impossible because your sight's forever. Sites forever. The the juking area is forever. So you you commit with the hittable. You're pretty much just wanting to stand behind it and rock. That's all it is. It's a mobile shield for you to sit back and rock for them. So you push the, your hittable in the way that where you want to rock, and it's it's a hard tank to take because most people are going to take it right around that airplane area. Now, it looks like we have a 17 tank. So it looks like we're going to have what I was talking about with it, that tank at that uh, crashed airplane. Uh, again, he as you said, you can get up high. He can he can get some uh, get some high spawns there, get some rocks off. But, uh, as you said, that there's this is going to be a this is going to be one of the I think the survivors are going to make it past this, so which is will be nice. We might actually see a safe room if we're lucky, depending on how uh, they take the rest of this map. I'm looking through here. I'm looking through the map here because I don't think all the way to bring the cast. So we're going through the map here. As again, it's incredibly open here, but towards the end, there's a lot of additional spawns and such. Now, good thing, a good thing to note is that there are some shortcuts throughout the map here, like jump between the fence in this box here, over the sandbags, etc. Seconds, depending on you know, how slow you are. Is there and a spec to spec thing, command? Not to interrupt you, but but you, you kind of got it ready. Oh, sorry. I did an exclamation hide, so I <laughs> went <laughs> because I wanted to see the uh, yeah the spawns that were up my spec HUD. So, anyways, we are going live here. First attack consisting of a two-two here with Hunter and Smoker, and it looks like they're all opting, or at least the majority of them are opting to come from the rooftop here. And the Boomer's going to go for that early spawn. We could see Rocket, but he loses the spawn to Zoe. But here comes the Smoker. Boomer's going up top here. Smoker gets a good pull of the grave there, but gets split very quickly since there is no support. Spit coming out here. And here comes a Rocket Boom. Not really a Rocket Boom, more like a Balloon Boomer. Slowly descending. My good news with that is that they did have that Boomer die for... Because you're, you're guaranteed to have either Boomer or Spitter in, in Promod. There's no quad caps, so... Basically, it forces them to keep that boomer. You really don't want to, and especially in this open area, you do not want to have a spitter. And it looks like the tank is up in the hands of the light moose here. So this is definitely an infected war room that we're going to be going to. Let's do it. Nick, mate, go. Okay. Too early, man. What the heck? Boom lens. He's down. Oh, if you get Cover loose, you're good, dude. Cover the smoke. Finish loose. Alright, two down. Okay, you got it. Smoker's gonna get his charge up before long. Is he gonna die? Well. I got the guy. Nice. I just find you. You might want to just punch that guy down. Yeah, he's gonna get cleared, maybe. Oh. oh, the the wheelbarrow. There's a flower pot. I wanted to oh, hit wow. that really That's bad. It. Nice job. Here, I want to see if this will actually. Yes, sir. Um, generally, with the um, what most teams try to do with their tanks, if you have a boomer, a lot of the time they'll just uh try to go for the boom alone without anything else and then if it fails they'll just wait for the three cap and commit with that instead. Right. 
Welcome right, back. We are back here. So we just saw a tank in the hands of the light moose there, and the support was just great. It was great support there by the infected. I'll be yeah, the, the attack did come in a bit earlier. Mm-hmm. That was the first thing I was going to say. You really want to commit at 50% on most tanks. Now, inside tanks, you can actually commit early, especially if you have a charge, a smoke, and you can have that that uh, that tank play defense once you get those two off. Um, and this kind of, even this is kind of an open area with a lot of spawns. You really want to wait till right around that 50, maybe even 60% time to, to get that off. Now, they weren't really shooting the tank, so that that was one of the kind of advantages of that. They the, the tank went in early, committed early, that he scared, pushed him back, he got two down, and then pretty much just closed it with the uh, SI. Yeah, I feel like a lot of teams, or a lot of players in general, they when they see the tank come in and somebody gets boomed, or they get boomed, their first instinct is to start shooting all the common off of themselves. To be entirely honest, if you're, if you're boomed, your best bet is to keep kiting the common infected to the best of your ability, shoot the SI, or shoot the SI that also come in, but again, you need to be shooting the tank as best as possible. More than likely, if you're boomed on, you're going to already be cornered, so it's best to shoot the tank off, rather than shoot the common off of you, which isn't really going to help all that much, because you're surrounded by common anyway. The method that I learned really well, and this is kind of just one of those things, let me ready up, since I have exclamation hide on again. Um, basically, a method I've learned, as soon as I get boomed, I try to tunnel the survivor, uh, the the uh, the uh, s s uh, common infected by doing kind of an S. And what that does is allows them to tunnel, and then I can shoot in one general direction to 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 kite them. Now again, these objects with all these little uh, graves actually might actually come in handy if you can force the uh, the uh, common infected to climb over to your advantage, getting boomed here. Again, just, just kind of like one of those advanced things that I've learned over time. Another thing to note is uh, some teams actually do a strategy where if you get boomed, your priority as the player is to actually move away from the rest of the team. This would kite the common infected away from the rest of the team. The rest of the team will have to be, you know, just the... What if you get a quad boom? Well, if you get a quad boom, then you just, you know, all separate <laughs> from each other, obviously. I'm not so sure about that either. I mean, on a take commit, I could agree with you. I mean, any other time, it's probably a bad idea uh, to go and get separated, especially in this this yellow on this map just bugs the heck out of me. That was the only real complaint about this. It's, it's so intense that it changes the way that you see things. So survivors look like infected. Survivors look like infected to me whenever I'm playing on this. Without I'm the staring, glows, especially in this open area. at the yellow right now. Mm-hmm. Let me see, let me go up to the virus. Nope, they don't look like infected. I think it's just you. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, w with it being so bright, it makes everything else kind of a, a darker shade of yellow. And the survivors, to me, can very much so be mistaken for uh, common affected. And, and with, with that boom factor coming in, it's that much worse. So getting booms here are incredibly crucial to shut down. Getting booms are, are will make it or break it. All right. So, if we have any doctors in the Twitch chat right now, any of you can, can you guys prescribe some, you know, prescription lens? Daddy Ping here. Here. Come on. Let's go, lady. Anywho, I really like that smoke respawn that they did behind the, uh, on that first hit. If you noticed. So I'm wondering, kind of, if they're going to do something like that. It looks like they're not. They're going to opt to. Uh, Hunter's going to go from the little peak there, just opposite the side of the truck, and we're going to get started. Alrighty, here we go. So again, first attack consisting of a 2-2 here with Hunter and Smoker. So they're all going to be coming from the rooftop. Boomer going for that early boom, and Bill misses! That is a triple boom! He is alone outside there. Here comes the Hunter to try and cover. Here comes the Smoke. Zoe is nowhere near Bill here. Zoe trying to look for Bill here, but he is hoarded here. Separation with Spit, and that is a lot of damage going on to Cinex there. This is guaranteed damage. I mean... There's really nothing you could do about it. Even without the hunter taking advantage of that non-boom survivor, still guaranteed damage. It was actually something interesting to have the smoker doing that because Zoe was completely blind on that hit. Alrighty, Respect. here comes the jockey here. 
Jockey going in, leading in here alone, probably because it was going to be someone else, or he's going to be the tank here. And we do have tank in the hands of Luke here. Boom, we're trying to get the boom. Willie Proxy, no, he doesn't. Great pop there. And we do have a Hunter and Jockey left in the tank's arsenal here. So let's take it over to an infect the war room, shall we? All right, let's do it. No, 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 just wait. You have two rage passes. Don't go in. Get away. Don't take chip. Nice rock, though. They're going to try to push you now. What you want to do is go in with three cap. Reloading. Wait, just wait. This is gonna be like insta commit tank. You're not gonna try to rocket like the first tank. Ooh, smoker, that's gonna be tough. All right, it's up to you if you want to just commit and support. Could uh, go in now. No, no, no. No, 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 don't do that. Tank commits. Everybody support. Go in when he has half health. I'll tell you support when to go in. Tank, try to get one down. Actually, support. Go right now. Get build down, tank. You got it. Nice. Get the green guy support. You got it. That's it, Hunter. That's it. Last one. Don't let him clear. Hunter. Hunter, get light moves. Tank, get Zoe. Oop, never mind. Last guy. Beautiful. Alright, and we are back, so we just saw a tank in the hands of Luke here. Again, some really, really great support. Now, I'm gonna be entirely honest with you, Daddy Ping. I'm not expecting more than a single down in this area here, and we just saw two wipes. I, uh, it surprised me too. I was gonna make a comment on that same thing. I wasn't expecting that. I think just uh, the raw unfamiliarity with the map alone can create some confusion whenever st stuff goes on. So whenever you get hits, and even in this open area, no one thinks to concentrate on that tank, like you were saying last round. Even when you're boomed, what you need to do is you need to find a way to concentrate on that tank because you're probably going to go down anyway, taking as much chip off of him as possible. Words of the wise from D-Pink, focus the chank. Wow. That's what she said, focus the chank. I think your ears need to be checked. He said Chen. Anyways. So, I mean, Some, another, another beer. Thing, AFK, another thing, beer back. Alright, uh, another thing I had to note here is that when the SI come in, your priority switches from tank to SI. Once the SI are down, you go in straight for the kill on that tank. Without support, the tank is really, really just not that much of a threat at all. He's really, really slow. He's really, really big. And to be entirely honest, I mean, I don't know, it's very easy to kite him with all four survivors still up there and all the SI down. So you really have to chip, or not chip, but you really have to take down those SI that come in during the tank fight. I mean, another thing to note is trying to keep together with your team. We saw that all three survivors kind of got kited away in the same direction, mind you, uh, away from... One person that got smoked at the very beginning of the fight there. That was definitely just just huge there for the infected and for the survivors. They needed to free that smoker person. But all three survivors are just kiting in the same way there. And just you now things just did not go really, really well. Alrighty, so we got a 70% tank and a 45% witch here. So... We're going through Claustrophobia 2.0 here with Undead Zone when we are on map 4, I believe. So I'm going to be running through the map here. You can see we got some railings here from your favorite map, Dark Blood 2. And I'm still, I'm trying to remember which way to go. Hopefully I'm going the right way here. So again, we got more props here. So the, the developer here does a great job of creating these open areas here, but putting props in places that there's additional spawns all over the place here without making it feel too cluttered and we are making a way we'll be arriving at the set of stairs and there for did one drop here albeit i think he can shoot the floor here okay so could be able to easily free someone who gets smoked and we'll be making our way into the sewage waste here all the way through the water here there will be some slow down and possibly an attack and it looks like we are going live here in the map 
First deck consisting of a 3-1 here with Charger and Spitter. There's definitely a lot of damage potential here. And here comes the survivors. Fading is naturally. Oh no, they're actually going to all come out of the safe room here. But they are trying to separate as best as they can. There is a common infector banging on that door there. That Lewis is shooting, but it was not cleared. And Bill will be finishing off that common infected here. And Smoker is going to be coming in from behind here. Charger is going to be coming in from the front naturally here. And I'm not sure how the infected are going to play this, but they are taking a little bit a little bit long here. And here comes ESI. Charge coming for the front. Miracle Charge doesn't get a double. Double cap though. Spit misses completely. It bounces off of Zoe here. And here comes a pull onto Lewis here. Great shutdown there by Lewis though. And he does get pulled, but after he clears the Charger. A lot of damage going on that first hit there. Lewis doing a great job of shoving that smoker. Otherwise, that would turn into a lot more damage. But unfortunately, he did not turn around in time to shove the smoker again. So I was making the way through here. So we already see one set of pills committed here. And it looks like they we're going to be seeing a second set of pills committed here. So we have two people bleeding before this 70% tank. And we got a 45% witch too. So that's definitely a lot of damage. And definitely what the infected wants here. Exit of SR coming up here. Consisting of a 3 or 2 2 here with Charger and Smoker. Still a lot of potential for damage here. And in this dark area here, it's going to be really, really hard to see if you get vomited on. Yes, yeah, so it looks like they're all going to be opting to set up all the way ahead here. Boomer's going to be coming from the far left, far right, if you want to change directions here. And Charger and Smoker, I mean, Charger and the Smoker really should work together here. Oh, and the Smoker is already pre-spawned. I'm not sure if I agree with that, though. I pulled a Jacob and got some food. Well, then. Reloading. All righty, so the Boomer is looking for a spawn here. I think he's going to come in from behind. Here comes a pull, but the Cinder Block blocks it. Here comes the Charger to try and support that smoke. Oh, but he lands the charge on health bonus. That could be a possible down here. Nope. I'll get out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The nerf spit damage. Mm hmm. Take up. And the Boomer is still up here. I, I kind of like this, the damage uh, how it is now. Not just as you were saying. I think the other day I was hearing you saying, like, Spit, char uh, smoke, spit, charge, boom. Or s what do you say? Smoke, smoke charge, spit. Smoke, there you go. Yep, and Boomer's already pre spawn up the front here. Again, I'm not liking these pre spawns at all here, but I guess, I mean, with the other with the other players' pings there, so they are at a disadvantage and can't really handle those pre spawns as well here. Great pop there going out there. But we have three sets of kills already chugged down here with three bleeders. Interesting. Whenever I came back, I didn't think that much health bonus would be lost. We were only at, what, 30% of this map. The first hit was incredibly devastating. We almost had a oh. tri cap. Oh, wow. Yeah, but Lewis managed to uh, shove a smoker that was close up. Hey, but... can you pause? I gotta take a drink of my beer. What? Never mind, it's all gone. Beer. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure they're, how Twitch will feel about us making alcohol references to the stream, man. Hold on, my hooker's calling. Well then. Alrighty, so well, the are making a drop here. They are dropping down the broken set of stairs. A lot of common infected all over the place here, just kind of swarming onto them there. Albeit though, they were idle, so they weren't really doing that much. They were just getting, you know, a bit of a nuisance here. We are going down the stairs here, into the sewage based area, and looks like they're going for a really, really early hit here, and Charger and Spitter will be leading in here again. I don't feel confident about having a Charger lead ever. Ducky's coming in here, lands on a bill here, and he does get cleared through the wall there. Great clearing there by the survivors. Here comes the hunter. Hunter gets in a tick, and oh, and he's down there. So definitely putting the survivors in a really, really bad position here. They had to go down. They had to pick up Bill. Otherwise, the next set of SI will be spawning up here. But there is a charge and a spitter. Here comes a free charge. Great dodging there in the water. And the spitter will be coming in here. Spit delay here. Oh, but it bounces off the support beam. That spread. Still. And that would have been devastating. Spirit, Spirit looked like he lost his spawn. Seems like we have another boomer up. He's probably going to save it for this witch coming up. We'll get a witch at 45%. It's a little bit further than I'm thinking it is, but... To be honest, the boomer should get a boomer right now. I would have to agree with you there. There you go. Oh, there it goes. Comes the boomer. Looks like a double. Oh, double. And here comes a pull separation pull. Here comes a jockey to try and cover it. Great jockey and a Zoe there. And it looks uh, like one cap. person's only not blind to hit. That's not cap, but the hunter's pouncing around. And he does land on Lewis here, and this is a tri cap. Wow. Now, if that was anything like their first hit, 
I could see how it'd be pretty good. Two tricap. Pretty good. Looks like this team's coming together, so I'm, I'm kind of happy to see that. You know, whenever a team just, start, just starts to click, they're just like, they start to sense how the other one's going to do, and then you just go in and tear it. Well, the clicking just with. stopped right there. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, solo charge, you're definitely going to do a lot more damage with the charge spit here. And oh, wow! That double spit. the spit double down, and the jockey, that is another down there. Oh, wait, no! The spit dissipates in time. Oh, Luke might be black and white. Am I seeing that correctly? Yes, Luke is black. No, wait, no, no, he's one not. Cap. It is uh, difficult pronunciation is black and white, and he's getting he's getting awarded right now. Two HP and black and white here. He will be one HP monster, and there it is. He's one HP, black and white here, and we still have the witch to deal with here. Witch in the darkness here, and here comes the crown by Zoe, but none of the bullets landed. So separated, so things. separated. Difficult oh, pronunciation gets a death with, with a hunter scratch there. Poker's Double. going in to protect that that charger, and here we go. That's it. That is the wipe there. I mean, this I would have to say this map is probably the most difficult in the series. Mm. Looks like is there a double path there, right? A double path. So like you can you can stay up top or you can go to that left. Uh, do, 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 going up the ladder. Yeah, it looks like you can go up that ladder there. Yeah. And what I noticed in a couple of games that I was watching, uh, actually a game that you were casting earlier, you were saying, uh, no, it wasn't you. It was uh, oh, what was the name? Kill the toy. Yeah, he was saying I hear I hear this witch, but maybe I'm just going crazy. So that witch must have been the other path, which is the, kind of the natural path to take. And you can actually oh, go no. around. No, they, they ran into the witch. They no, I understand. You can go around her. Oh. But I think you can go around 20 her. 20 points, though. 20 points, though. I, I, I understand. That's your incentive, but you could still go around her. But 20 points, though. Well, they died. So was it worth it? If they had killed her, yes. But they died. So was it worth it? Yes. My voice, man. I've noticed. It was you all this like beer. A, you sound like a high school kid. Is it really that bad? Yeah, you're squeaking a lot. That's okay. I don't mind. It's inflection. Maybe I'm leaving you to learn that. All right, it looks like somebody had to go there. I guess uh, they got some parent aggro there. Kind of reminds me of Han. Do you remember Han? The solo guy? Did he no. do it all by himself? No, Han. Han Solo? Shut up. No, I don't know who Han is. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made that shitty Han, joke. He was playing. Uh, he was playing with Hib. But basically, he's a, he's a really good player, but his parents really don't like him playing uh, video match. So oh, he, yeah. Yes, I do remember that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, man, that brings back some. Alrighty, so we're gonna be going into the second round here of map four of Undead Zone here. So who who did we lose there? Who are we losing here? So we lost, uh, I believe we lost, was it Luke? Okay, yeah, Luke. Now, Luke is one of our younger players. Actually, I got the privilege to play with him a couple of times. He is, his, his skill is just getting better and better, even though he is a younger player, and he's still a little bit wet behind the ears whenever it comes to some of the, the strategies just from some of our more veteran players. But uh, he's he's coming up and he's learned this quick. He's trial and error, but he he learns and uh, he takes it from there. That and he's on a Mac, so which also doesn't help. Oh God, a Mac! So does a that Mac mean laptop. he? Does that mean he M ones and M twos every time he clicks? No, 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 no. See, it's the same button. It's just it's covered over a different spot. So no, he just. So he does both, is what you're saying? Not at the same time. No, you can program a Mac mouse to do, have two different have a right click. That's an OS OS 10 feature. It, it's not just a single click like you're thinking it is. But I will say, double buffering. 
Oh god. Yeah. He was getting 25 to 30 frames per second. Alright, it looks like hiatus has joined us here. I like to pronounce it occasionally hiatus. And it looks like he also has some really, really high ping. What is my ping this year? Oh, my ping's actually alright. We're waiting on Breezy to ready up here. So, this first attack here, since you did miss it, Daddy, it consists of a 3-1 uh, a, a here with Charger and Spitter. Mm. And in this enclosed area, I think you can imagine how that Yeah, it's gonna be something. And the survivors here are opting to take this hit a bit differently here. The previous team rushed out into the open area right here. They're not the common infected. It looks like Zoe will be taking her time. She does rush out here, and they will be going back in. I'm not sure. I guess there was some communication issue going out there. They were baiting or not. And here comes a free charge. It lands, and the spit is short, but the spread is humongous. And here comes a jockey onto the safe room. In the safe room jockey. My favorite term. I can't tell if that's a nude spray. Well then. Now question, if you walk through a do one of these door ghosting, does it actually open for you? I am not sure. Reloading. I've never played the map. Hmm. I was actually thinking it. about it. Oh, go ahead. The survivors are making their way through here, clearing the common infected. We see some friendly fire going out here. The next set of SI are coming in here. Early boob. Oh no, they do not go for the other boom here. Consisting of a 2 2 here with Smoker and Charge. So basically, a mirror matchup of the previous team. Oh, and here comes this early boom. Double boom here. Here comes a Smoker. But he will be getting picked off by Zoe here. Here comes a Charger. Charger lands a double charge. Here's the spit. And we're going to see this spit spread. Oh wow. Well, they, yeah, oh, he goes into that's the spit! He was actually originally out of the spit here. Spitter comes in, death spit, and he panics back into the spit. Uh, when you're boom, you're hoarder, those, those common tend to push you a little bit. So, I'm sure that had a little bit of a factor, even with his M2. He's not uh, Grizz, you know. Remember <laughs> remember when common infected pushed the jockeys around in oh, God. Uh, Bromod? Yeah. Yeah, that that was horrible. I mean, you couldn't do anything with Jock. You get the Jockey in in the mere resistance of the, yep, yeah, mere resistance, would just of the uh, of the survivor would just you wouldn't go anywhere. Unless if they sacked that boomer, probably a really really good call there. They're going to be getting a spitter, and this area up ahead here is incredibly devastating. We got slow down, we got enclosed area, we got common infected, and we got stairs. So hopefully, build doesn't trip and fall the way down. Ooh, broke up a little bit there, buddy. Alrighty, and the SI are good to go here again. Consisting of three one here with Charger and Spitter here. Bill is rushing ahead. Lots of common infected. Here comes the charge spit. Oh, and he stumbles them all in spit along with the jockey stumble. Wow. The damage is humongous. Oh my god. That I hit. Say, I have to say though that spit spread actually wasn't as big as I thought it'd be. Yeah. Nerf, Jacob. <coughs> ah, ah. <laughs> and somebody, somebody mentioned in chat right now, uh, they removed the resistance on Jackie. Uh, thing to note is they didn't fully remove the resistance on Jackie. A fully resist or a fully removed resistance on Jackie is uh, pretty much full speed survival. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Still, it's much better than vanilla. And here comes the boomer. Boomer going for that vomit through the grate there, but that grate is not vomit throughable there. I wonder if that means if it's shoot throughable either. Jacob. And we do have a 2-1 here with the Spitter, Hunter, and Jockey. Hunter will be setting up on this witch here, but looks like the survivors are opting to skip the witch here. Great idea in my opinion. Look look at their health. The risk versus reward, not... It looks like they're going for that witch now, though. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, and the witch is now angry here, but they will be coming from a better position here. There is some lighting here. And here comes the Jockey. Oh, Jockey lags the his lag way! The lag Jockey. The jacket just oh in this free spit and, and a dead, a dead, a dead. Is that just how when you see someone, someone is dead? You say, oh look, a dead. <laughs> oh, dead, maybe. Uh huh. And, uh, this this witch will be killing us all. And it looks like it's just two survivors left. Jack or Hunter is still up, and Hunter does get shut down there.
So two survivors, they need to make as much distance as possible here. There is a hundred point gap here, and every point they get is one less point they will have to make up in the finale here. Oh, and common effects are hitting him in the back of the head. Oh, and this boomer getting this arc boom. Great arc boom on the build here, arming on the Lewis here. Here comes a silent jockey, gets on the Lewis here. Francis struggling right here. It is a 2 2. All he has to do is shut down the other cap, and he'll be oh, safe. Oh, the spit boom. The spit boom. And the next SI is good to go here. It is a charger, but the spit will be taking him down with this horde on the stairwell here. Unable to shove the common because GG Valve can't code common infected inside a stair. Or stair railing, sorry. Don't you just love it when you're like at the top of a stair, uh, set of stairs? You know, there's a railing, there's spit, and you're trying to get down the stairs. You shove the common aside because you're reloading, and they get stuck in the railing. Don't oh, you that's just the love worst. That? The yeah. worst. They they do the they hold the the whole Jesus cross thing like which when you spawn her up and uh, like where they kind of stuck in this like little cross like cross looking pose. Yes. Guess I'm the only one. Whatever. Either way, it's really, really 30. frustrating. And mm -hmm. I, I think there's a, a mod, the European version of Pro Mod, where they uh, they move common infected out of stuck areas. So that would probably be a good idea to have in Pro Mod here. Not sure how it Highlight. Works, Highlight post on Left 4 Dead Nation. Yes. No, I couldn't agree more. I mean,. So many things that get stuck in this map, it's it's hard to resolve things like that because nav path, there's really nothing you can do to fix it unless you make these maps yourself and you better be a hell of a map maker not to get everything stuck. The charger alone, I mean, there's, there's just so many different, with the special, special infected ability, so many factors involved and with the nav path that can be messed up, especially when you compute in 60 tick servers with their... Uh, inability to really be consistent when it comes to how things are going to play out in transmission. All right. I think I'm going to say that from now on. People to ready up here. Including Everyone myself, thank you. So we got a 77% tank, a 40% This is the finale here. Oh wow, we have an error. Where's the error? Have an error. It's uh all right. So if you go over into the compound area, just fly up really, really high, and you'll see like a hole in one of the shops. And oh yes, I I that actually actually has been there. It's uh part of the map. That's oh, really actually no. that is actually part of the map. He the the map maker put that in, and uh, he just he wanted it in there. It's like an Easter egg. Uh huh. Sure he did. If you notice. The, it's not an error. It's actually a uh, beater. Eror? It actually spells. It's, it's spelled beater. Look at it from the side. It's like a hidden message to the survivors in Russian. Let me see. I don't. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see your beater. Either way, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna stare at the error anymore. <laughs> Made you look. Alrighty, so they're gonna be going up up the stairs here, and they're gonna have to go to this radio here. Radio, answer the radio. We got some really, really funky radios or radio noise going on here, and they will generally hold off this event probably by the fencing area. There's a potential for a lot of spawns here, but it's right, cl it's really close to ammo. It's a great tank spot, and it's very open. Most of these finales can end up either. I mean, this tank can go either really good or really bad. There's really not any in between. I mean, he either he either commits and he gets really good SI support, or he biffs it and they go in with full health and then they just do a really easy witch crown over this little fence line. And a thing to note is that the scores are still incredibly close here. We got less than 90 points in difference. Yes. This this is this is a mat. This is a good mat. Uh, I was kind of surprised. I was I was thinking one team was offset from the other, but now that I look at them, tank commits have all either wiped or done a good job of taking those survivors down. Here we go. Alrighty, first set consisting of a three-one here with Charger and Spitter Jockey free spawn. They're not going for the rocket. They're actually going on 
Becky's going on to the safe room rooftop. Same with the Charger. Charger's going to be leading in from very far away here. I do not agree with this setup attack here. But here comes a free charge. Great dodge there by Lewis. Although a great two cap in spit here. Wow. Going Out of nowhere. They were all concentrated on the charge for them the charger. And that's something that uh, we kind of teach as a as a basic as a basic movement. Oh, and here comes the witch. We'll be climbing over here. No one's we'll shooting, shooting her. That witch. Oh, oh, hittable. Oh. This hittable is really, really far in there. They could push this tank. But it looks like they are going to be taking it the safe way, and they will be going really, really far back here. Tank will be pushing in that hittable, getting on top of the cliffside here, and we could probably see a 30-minute killatory tank here. You very well could. Now at the same time, there is a place to LOS on the side of the building, which they're oh. opting to take right now. Microphone, man. Did it suddenly just start raining inside what? your house? No. Is it still a bad? Yes, it's really, really steady. Oh, I hear Anyways, it. I hear here it. Here comes the Jackie right now. Yeah, you might have to solder that all over again. And here comes a smoker from the safe room here. Jackie's going to be hiding on top of the safe room building here. And here comes the Charger. Charger going for that free charge again. Very, very far away. Great dodge there by Lewis, but it does get onto Zoe there. There is some god frames, though, on that initial uh, initial charge hit rather than the pound, though. Testies, testies, one, two, testies. Yes. Better, thank you. And Tank, again, still going for those racks. There's second pass here with less than 100 chips, so probably in a really good position, but he does not get the hittable, though. That's a little bit questionable. And a great first punch going out there onto Zoe there and onto Francis. Missing a punch onto Zoe there. Here comes the Hunter. Lands onto Francis here. Great pull on Lewis here. Double punch by Synex there. And the Boomer getting really close to stumbling that tank, but managed to get away. And we got a corner very quickly here onto Bill. A lot of health still on that tank there. Again, you need to focus that tank here. Another punch onto Breezy there. And we got somebody hoarded. Lewis is completely hoarded. Missing a punch onto Francis here. And there is a down on Francis going after Zoe now. Ooh, great punch. Those long arms. Ten act. To remember that. Now, I think this was a really good idea to commit here. Right, when he did. Still got 20% left. One survivor left with half health. This could be it right here. And, and that's it. I, I mean, again, you have to focus that tank. I mean... They were in such an incredibly open area. I'm not sure what was going on here. It's just such a really, really big thing that people just, like, really neglect. You need to focus tank. The tank just it needs to take a lot of damage because once the SI come in, that tank needs to be at 3,000 health. Mm-hmm. Get some good chip on them. I mean, the LOS has been good. It seems like they're doing a decent job of LOSing now post of the first map where it wasn't as good but as you were saying it seems like they're having trouble actually shooting the tank giving that slowdown forcing him to miss those punches what else do you think they can do their tank <laughs> what can team b do to win this round okay if i were okay if i were to say this i mean obviously you got to shoot the tank a second thing is you need to be aware of your surroundings. We saw that the tank there did a very quick drop from the safe room building onto the survivors there. Got a quick punch on the Zoe. If Zoe or the team had been communicating there, then they probably would not have gotten punched there right off the bat. And the tank would have been in a really, really bad position just surrounded by all four survivors all shooting at him from different directions there. He probably would have got a corner after about five seconds there though. That area there is very easy to corner somebody but he still would have taken a lot of damage there, which is definitely what the survivors needed, and there would have been a one less punch overall there. I couldn't agree more. No, they're waiting on me already up. Okay, there we go. Let's go live. Now that Alrighty. you're done talking. Alrighty, so we got a 3-1 here with Charger and Spitter here. And again, Jockey is pre-spawn here. Not going to go for that rocket. He initiates with the lunge, though, and he misses. And he does get dead stop. So, as I tell a lot of people out there, do not initiate with your lunge as a Jockey unless it's, like, something you really, really need to do there. Otherwise, if you miss, you're completely vulnerable, and survivors will shove you. Now, that first hit went really well for the infected team. At this point, there's really... Oh! oh and oh! there's a death. They're forced to go on the other side. 
This is going to be an interesting commit area. They don't... Oh, and here comes the tank. The tank sees the opportunity here, but will he? Will it bite him in the ass, though? He does miss the punch. That is incredibly crucial there. Rock coming out here. Charger the tries dump. to charge here. And does it look like that forklift is hittable? It is not. No, I agree. I thought it was at first, too. I thought we are going to see another hittable coming. The tank is missing too many crucial punches. He needs to get out there. He lost his opportunity. He's a window of opportunity, but he's going in. He's going for that jump rock there. He's not giving up that tank. He wants to down Lewis there, and he is changing directions onto Francis here. He only has 2,800, and he gets a ghost rock there from the stumble. Wow. Never seen one of those before. It happens. Oh. Right? Oh, and here comes the hitable. Crucial. Oh, oh that common infected just jumped on top of the hitable. Yeah. It looks like Francis is running for distance. He's trying to win, but he does get pulled. I do not agree with that. He should have oh, stayed wow. there to shoot the tank. I mean, look at the tank. He's at 300 health. If there was an additional survivor there, that would have been really easy to deal with. And here comes the hunter to try and edit. Pounce Are... lands. It's all up to Lewis. I might need a respec, or is that his scores were? Oh, there we go. Okay. My scores were broken for a second. And there we have it. The end of left to learn. Final score 798 to 860. GG, everyone. That was incredibly unfortunate there. They they should have stuck together there. They should have shot that tank. Again, the tank had 325 health by the time that the hunter was starting to, or by the time uh, Bill was starting to run back towards the hunter. Sometimes it just takes a few more rounds. You just have to have that second sense to know when you, you just have to go for it. You just gotta. You, you gotta. You gotta you gotta bite, bite the bullet and finish off that tank, even if it means another down, even if it means a, a, a player death. You gotta get rid of that tank, or else you're not going further. I completely agree there. I mean, I want to say the moral of this left to learn here is shoot the tank. And spit nerfed. Yes. Alrighty, so that is the end of Left to Learn, October eighteenth, two thousand fourteen, and. Thank you, Daddy Pink, for casting with me tonight. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you for inviting me, XBy. No problem. All right. See you guys next weekend with another custom map. Take care. Have, have a good night.